Aries singles welcome super singles completely and totally singles mostly talking to you guys let's uh, look at the end of January 2022 uh, energy just keep an eye out for uh, your potential person here what's going on and uh, this is like a crazy positive reading it's like thank god last week was like a nightmare so uh, bottom of the deck you have the ace of swords and this is your energy the five of swords in and around love and relationship here um under the ace of swords i i was pronouncedly saw the ten of cups <laughs> so i have to count that too since i just kind of struck me um and this is what's crossing you so i just put it in reverse so it's as if the four pinnacles in reverse uh four pinnacles in reverse you know it could be like the five of pentacles it's not feeling like you have enough and i think with the ace of swords is overall energy the five of swords i mean this could have manifested as having a fight but i think it's you kind of arguing with yourself um this the ace of swords and the five of swords i mean that could be like negative self-talk i i think um here and you kind of look how this voice seems dejected here um you're really thinking about it. it's it's not the kind of victory it's not a six of wands victory you know it, uh, it leaves you in this kind of place which this is kind of a rough energy uh to move on into a relationship with and uh i think what's compounding it's probably these difficulties in the past with other relationships i want to clarify uh first of all the four of pentacles here this is uh, what's blocking you uh, because what you, I mean, you have this amazing advice from spirits of the world and the outcome of, of the star, the world and the star. I mean, it's kind of a lot, guys. It's, uh, it's like it's all you got to do is uh, turn a knob and walk on through and you, you're le going to level up here. Um, so blocking you too. Ace of Wands clarifying this uh, Four of Pentacles. Aries, this is feeling like you just have no energy. And maybe that's kind of what the negative talk is around for yourself. It's like, you know, uh, uh, this is very much like, a, again, because this this is in the blocking position, maybe you could say it's a reverse ace of wands. So that's really drained. That's just uh, not being able to put any effort into something. I want to say anymore, not being doing anymore. It could be with that reversed uh, pinnacle. Sometimes it's like... Uh, I call it spiritual anesthesia. You know, we get these periods. If you really look at it, it's like spirits kind of putting us down. Um, you know, uh, so it could be that kind of energy. Uh, like the last thing on your mind is you're leveling up and achieving the world and achieving your hopes and dreams and wishes here. But that's what uh, spirit is promising you here with the world. There's some level, maybe it's in... Um, dealing with these negative patterns and sometimes you have to sit with this energy but this is a good place to be where you're kind of really thinking about you know what was all that struggle about what did i actually win you know it comes to mind with the five of swords i always think of uh, that saying you, know, you can't win a relationship you know there is no win in a relationship that's uh that's uh only a lose so you have to win win or you both lose so the world card is, this is the most important card in a four card spread for me, because this I see as advice from spirit. And there is no way in the world that the spirit's going to give you the advice that, look, you have the world. It's kind of saying, Aries, guys, it's kind of saying like, look, guys, you already have this. Look at what you have. Maybe it would help to look back uh, beyond maybe five years. Look back five years ago. And really think about where you were. I do this with the visualization, like the self hypnosis, and go back and really try to remember where I was physically helps me. But really get into that. You might find that now your mindset, your emotional being, uh, is operating at a different level, and that's the world. You know, the ending of a cycle is kind of leveling up, and then you immediately begin a new cycle because there's no rest uh, for the weary, you know. But with the outcome being the star card, this is the fulfillment of hopes and dreams and wishes. I, you know, I wonder, like, maybe just focusing on hopes and dreams and wishes, because it, this could be with this five of swords. It's like you're in this 
inner uh, negativity and turmoil and kind of going around kind of arguing with yourself um, and you're not really seeing the opportunity which uh, upright ace of wands is a fantastic opportunity it's also a hard on you know so it's go 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 okay um, and the four of pentacles upright is not bad energy it's to you know husband your energy and uh, what you might need to do to achieve the world you know um, it's making sure you do what you need to do to finish graduate school to whatever and move up in the world, you know, which world can mean a graduation, a raise, a marriage, you know, change, changing your lifestyle that way is moving into a different level of life. So but with the star, I mean, Aries, I don't know, you're, you I could say that there could be an Aquarius involved in your future. And you might want to look at uh, sun, moon, rising and Venus energy, too in terms of the Aquarius person. Um, if you see anyone like that coming into your life anytime soon. So let me know how this resonates, guys. And, uh, you know, let me know if an Aquarius person pops up here. It might uh, be this is the end of January time frame. So do uh, love comments. Um, so like it would, would mind. Help get the algorithm some encouragement to move along. And uh, do hit subscribe. Thank you, guys.